Hey there and welcome back. So on the previous video, I showed you how to associate a player to your own scientific platform. So what we need to do now is actually have content, create campaigns with those contents and publish it to your player, to your screen. Okay. To do that, I'm going back here on the content tab. I already have some content uploaded here to the platform, but it's really easy to upload content into OnSign. You can simply click here in new and click in upload file. Then after you click here, it's going to open the, um, the window from your, from your computer, which you can use to select the images, the videos, or any other type of content you want to display, you, you want to upload to OnSign TV. To make sure you, you're uploading compatible uh, files, you can check here what are the supported files. So here we have the list, okay? After making sure that you're uploading um, supported files, you're going to be seeing them right here below on the media panel, okay? After you upload these contents, you could be uh, also organizing them by selecting and dragging them into folders. And to create new folders, you can simply click here in new, click in folder and create a new folder. Pretty simple, huh? Right. So after we have images and videos, we could be selecting those and creating a campaign, right? To create a new campaign, we can click here in new and click in campaign. Let's give it a name. Let's call it campaign demo. Right here on this first section, we have the name of the campaign, the transitions, which we can add. So every time this campaign starts, it's going to um, start with this transition. We can uh, choose a um, category for that. We can include it already in a folder or we can tag this campaign. On the next session, screen layout, we can choose exactly what is going to be the screen layout for that campaign. We already have some screen layouts created here, but we could definitely add a custom layout. To do that, we click here in add custom layout. We can drag those frames as we prefer. We can change the resolution of the, of the campaign to match the actual device, or we can change it to vertical if you prefer to um, exhibit those those campaigns on portrait mode. In this case, let's keep it horizontal. We could drag the edges of each one of those frames and to add more frames, you can simply click here in add division. Keep in mind that each one of these divisions are going to be having a timeline and in, into each one of those timelines, you could be adding images, videos, applications, or any other content you want, okay? Let's just stick to one of the, of the layouts that I already created. I'm going to be choosing this one. Okay, so if I select, for example, this one, full screen, which has only one frame, down here, I'm going to be having one timeline only. If I select this other one, which has two frames, down here, I'm going to be having two timelines. So keep that in mind, so you can drag enough content into your campaigns. Down here, I'm going to be selecting a video and an image. You can simply drag them into the timeline. It's really easy to do it. This image, let's say that I want it to be displayed only for five seconds. And on the bottom frame, I'm going to be adding one application. I could change uh, the length of this app in order to have a different content. In this case, I'm adding a weather app. Into each one of these assets, I could be clicking and changing some uh, configurations of it. So in this case, I have an image here. I can change its duration from here. I can enter a transition for each one of the assets. I can change the aspect ratio for images, and I can even add a pan and zoom animation. When I click on videos, I could be changing the volume of that video. I could be changing the volume of other things 
um, let's say that I have an audio loop also published to the player. So if I change it to be reduced, every time that this video starts, it's going to be reducing the volume of other contents in order to be um, to be presenting correctly the, the volume, the, the audio of this video. And I could also, also add transitions. When I click on apps, I could be adding transitions as well, change the item duration, or I can edit this app from here. When I'm good with it, I can simply click in preview to see how it looks like before I have it published to my screens. So there we go. After um, we, we are satisfied with our preview, we could click in save and publish. We can click in go to publishing page. Now we are in the camping page and we could click in publish. After that, we are already in the publishing page. We could click here in players select our demonstration player to select that we can simply double click and it's going to be dragged into the selected destination list to be removing it we could select and move it back let's keep it there and we can simply click in publish after we do that our player is going to start synchronizing to see the synchronization we could click on the player from here or we could click here on players and see our players synchronizing lifetime. If I click here, I can have more information about each one of the events that are happening on that player. In this case, it's downloading the files that we published. After it's synchronized successfully, it's going to start displaying the content on our on sign TV app. Okay. You can see that it's synchronizing here as well. We have the loading uh, bar here on the bottom. After it's finished, it's going to start displaying the campaign just like we created. Keep in mind, you could be publishing more than one campaign, obviously. So you could be having different uh, contents in different layouts on the screen, right? So that could be a great possibility for you to um, display contents on your screens. Well, this was the video for publishing campaigns. I hope you liked it. So stay tuned for the next video.